It's very dark. Yeah. Oh. That's better. Oh. <laughs> so, Craig and Matt, we're at Revers... <laughs> yeah, outdoors at Resby Abbey. Um, yeah, we've got footsteps basically coming from both directions towards us. Um, anything that we hear, we'll shine a torch, so I hope we can sort of show you that there's none of our team down here. Um, and that the anything we experience is genuine. We have a REM cube also further up the hill, um, so hopefully we can get that to go off. Um, obviously, like we said, we've got a torch as well, just to shine up if we hear any footsteps like we have been hearing. Yeah, we're also seeing shadows, um, and well, we'll, we'll I don't really know how to describe it really, they're, they're, not, they're not like human form, but there's certainly a lot of movement out here. It's interesting. So I hope we can share it with you. Okay, can you come towards us again? Walk towards us so you can hear your footsteps. Oh, Rem cube. Yeah. Okay, could you come closer, please? There you go. We'll go closer towards that so we can show you that there's no one around. Thank you. No, there's literally no one down here. Just myself and Matt. Do you make it go off more? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to reset the cube so we can, again, make sure that we're not getting any false positives here. Okay, would anyone like to come back down the road towards us, please? We heard you walking around before. Let us hear your footsteps. We're just here to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Could you walk down towards us? We mean you no harm. We're just here to communicate with you.
Could you touch that black box? Yeah, could you come straight down the path, please, towards us, towards the box in the middle? The reason we haven't got any K2 meters going is because obviously we don't want it to, the phone signal to affect the equipment. So things with the spirit box obviously, it won't affect it with the phone signal. Yeah. Especially it's so far away from us as well. Yeah, the K2 is the only bit of equipment that would be directly affected yeah. by. So that's the reason we're not using any K2s at the moment. Yeah, the footsteps at the top again. Okay, here we go. I don't think you can actually hear it on the feed because they're unfortunately a bit quiet, but there's at least one or two people moving around at the top again. Thank you for that. Could you come closer so we can hear you better? If you want, you're welcome to come and throw a stone in our direction if you want. Preferably not directly at us, but in our general area would be great. further up the path towards where we actually heard the footsteps coming from. I mean, earlier on they were literally coming from behind us and in front of us, but the most recent ones were up here. Mm -hmm. My torch just totally died. Yeah. Not completely. It's dead. That was a new battery. wooded area. <coughs> I'd, I'd light it up but had it. Oh that's kind of can probably come back on again. I'm weird. Oh, start again. Hello, Keith. Keith's watching. Keith? Hmm? Oh, hi, <laughs> Keith. <laughs> sorry, I'm on the inside. I thought so. Even I was actually looking around for him. <laughs> Could you walk up towards us? We're at the top of the hill now. There's a black box halfway down, could you go and touch that or walk near it? Did you hear that then? There's kind of noises all around us, but mm -hmm. I'm guessing you're going to get some from animals, because we are yeah. near the forest, but certainly the footsteps up the path, why not? Try firm imaging. Yeah, go and do. Hold that sec. Yeah, no problems. I've got it.
Right, yeah. yeah, Craig's just turning on a thermal imaging camera. Um, so hopefully we might be able to get a, an image of the, the people that are making the footsteps, making the noises around us. Place, isn't it? Okay, there's more noises down the end again. Okay, I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk down this way a bit, Craig. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're back at the K2. Meter, which is obviously not going off anymore, so that's quite interesting. It there's footsteps again behind us. I mean, when we were setting up here, people were saying as we walked down here initially, there were people walking behind them as we came down, but unfortunately, obviously, we haven't got any footage of that. But it's just interesting that it it's always seems to be behind us, following us. Right, okay, that was a really big noise. That was like something being thrown. Hello? There's no one up there. No. That was like a boulder. That wasn't small. So I don't know if you guys could hear that. Again, I apologise if you can't, because it must be very difficult with the limited um, speaker we've got, or microphone side that we've got on this. But, but yeah, there was, was quite a loud bang just behind us in the direction where the camera's pointing. But we're, we're totally alone out here. There's, there's constant, very quiet noises going on and the occasional sort of big, quite dramatic bang, which is... It's actually interesting, it's away from the building, so there's no way that that's anything to do with anybody within the building at all making that sound. It's actually just outside of the area that we're in. And that's totally... Um, totally empty. Hi Susan, <laughs> nice one. Thanks for watching. No. Okay, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it for now. Let's, let's see what let's, let's see what else we can notice in this. Yeah, this is this is going to be a relatively limited length feed that we're doing right now before we bring 